Hi, Rob from Toby Danox. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about dwell times for eye tracking in Communicator 5. Uh, so, um, you can see when I go for, to my homepage in Communicator 5, as I navigate my way around, I've got a dwell time that doesn't pressurise me to make a decision quickly because I'm working out where I want to go next. So when I come in to speak, my dwell time takes me in there nice and slowly. So if I've made the wrong choice, I can get off there without accidentally hitting the wrong button. When I come into my keyboard though, you'll see that already it's slightly quicker that dwell time than it was before. And that's because once I'm on a keyboard, I know where I'm going next, so I want to go really, really quickly. But it's still not quick enough for me. It's still holding me back a little bit. So I can come into my settings on my keyboard, click on dwell time. And what you see now is that I've got two different dwell times. The top dwell time is my navigation dwell time. So that's currently set to um, 1450 milliseconds. My keyboard dwell time is set to 1100 milliseconds. So quicker, but still not quick enough for me. So what I'm going to do now is just as using my eyes is take this down and I'm going to take this down to something really quick because I can type quite quickly because I know how to use a QWERTY keyboard. So I'm going to take that all the way down to 0.6 of a second, 600 milliseconds. So when I come out now, you can see on my keyboard that I'm going super fast. So when I'm typing hello, then I almost don't need prediction anymore because I'm going so quickly. So my word prediction is almost not as quick as me typing, but I still want my phrases. So let's just clear that off. So when I'm hitting a W, for example, I get my uh, phrases that start with the letter W. Um, and you can see now that I've got a problem. And my problem is, is that my dwell time is too fast to allow me to read my phrases. So now my phrases are no use to me. And if you saw the video that we did on abbreviation expansion, you'll know how useful phrases can be and how often we use them in Communicator 5. So now what I can do is come back into my settings, into my dwell time, and I've got a third option. And my third option is to turn on longer dwell time for prediction buttons. So now when I come out, I can just get rid of that W again and we'll start again. So I can still type super fast when I'm saying hello, but then when I get onto my phrases up at the top, you can see the dwell time automatically all by itself slows right the way down and lets me choose the right phrase. So my phrases are back being super useful again. And that's it, dwell times in Communicator 5.